This video explores how to use the compound interest formula and a known future value of an investment to figure out how long the money has been in the investment account. So here's the situation. Suppose you have $30,000 and that $30,000 is invested at a rate of 9.2% interest and this is compounded annually and it achieves a final value of seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars and what you might notice is we don't know how long the money has been in the account that's the goal of this problem to try to figure that out now in the formula this value the amount of money invested is the principal and the usual symbol used for this final value of the account is capital A. R is the rate compounded annually. N is equal to 1. Now let's see how all of this plays a role in the calculation of uh, the number of years that this money has been in the account. So the overall formula A equals P parentheses 1 plus R over n raised to the n times t will become with these values 750,000 that's the value the future value of the account the original principal 30,000 parentheses 1 plus remember to change the rate into its decimal form 0.092 divided by 1, we're just writing the 1 for consistency, I know it's not going to make really any difference, and then raised to the 1 times the unknown number of years. Now let's simplify this equation a little bit. Let's divide each side of it by 30,000. And jump over to the calculator. Let's do the calculation. So. 750,000 divided by 30,000. So the left hand side of this equation becomes 25. On the right hand side, 30,000 cancels out, and we're left with 1 plus 0 0.092 over 1, which is 1.092 raised to the t. Now here's where logarithms come in. This is a base 1.092. This t is the unknown exponent and the result of taking that base and raising it to the exponent is 25. So we could rewrite this exponential form of equation as its logarithmic form. That would be log with base 1.092 zero nine two of twenty five that will tell us the value of t so we go back over to the calculator remember that there is the log base function arrow up twice on the calculator and we need to put in the base one point zero nine two of twenty five and when we press enter this will tell us the correct number of years. So the number of years that this money has been in the account is 36.57, I'll round it to the hundredth, years.